Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. God wants me to talk to you about whoremongering and prostitution um, and adultery. He that commits adultery lacks understanding. So you're going to lack understanding when you commit adultery. You're going to lack understanding when you sell your body. Um, you're going to destroy your own soul. He who commits adultery, you destroy your own soul. And he and you lack understanding. So you're not going to understand spiritual things. And he told you your heart and your soul turns to hate him. And you will never walk in faithfulness. And not only does it destroy you spiritually, you can catch a lot of diseases. And not to mention that, Satan controls you when you're a prostitute, when you're a whorelet, when you even sleep with them, when you pay for sex, when you buy sex, Satan destroy is the one controlling you. God, the spirit of God is not in you. And you have sexual immorality spirit and all type of evil spirits come on you and it, you destroy yourself basically. And God wants you to know he rather you be poor and take a government check than sell your vagina or your penis. He rather you work hard every day until ends meet instead of you selling your vagina and your penis. That is not something you're supposed to do, period. Because you destroy your own soul. You destroy your own self. And oh my goodness, it destroys your mind and it turns you to hate God. Why would you want to hate God because of your lust? And not only that, you have the spirits of lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, and whoredom, and the spirit of hate, and envy, and unfaithfulness, and the spirit of lies. All these things happen when you buy sex, and you have the spirit of prostitution as well. And God just wants you to know he loves you even though you've done those things. And he wants you to get away from those things and to read Ephesians chapter 5 and 5 because it's called whoremongering. That means you're a whoremonger and you have the spirit of whoremonger on you. And it leads you to be covetous, to be envious, to be hateful, to be jealous. Even it'll lead you to do witchcraft and sex magic and things of that sort. And a lot of people who do prostitution, they do sex magic. And he wants you to know a whore is a deep ditch. He makes their vagina really deep and big when they commit those type of things. God wants you to know that you destroy yourself. You destroy your spirit. You destroy your soul. You destroy your salvation and you're unclean. You're unclean. He calls in the Bible when he's talking about the unclean. He said he's talking about you people who sleep with more than one person. Who is who takes men who are not her husband who takes women that is not his wife you're unclean and you're full of evil and you need to be purged you need to be clean and you need to be washed your privy parts your heart your soul everything it makes you have an evil heart an evil soul and it makes you a wicked person and that when you're even the people paying for it and sleeping with those people. God says, do not be joined to a whorelet. Don't you know you'll become one flesh? So every spirit, that whorelet, that prostitute slept with, and the person who pays to sleep with them, now they have all those spirits. Do you know how much people a prostitute and a whore sleeps with in a day? And you go and pay for them. Are you even just being a man sleeping with a prostitute or a whorelet? Do you know how destroy you destroy your own soul? Even a woman, vice versa. They sleep with many people. People carry different spirits. Whether it be jealousy, whether it be envy, whether it be spite, whether it be cruelty. You don't know these tricks and, tr and creepy people they've been sleeping with, what they carry. And not only to mention that, the whore or the prostitute you're sleeping with, they have the spirit of whoredom, whoremongering and prostitution. 
now you in your spirit you're going to want to do those things because that spirit is attached on to you it's a dangerous thing soul ties and you have to know that's how satan destroys people I've, i i um, shared a video about two years ago when he says that's his trick that is what he does to kill these people he just sends them whorlets who have a hundred spirits on them and then they sleep with another person and they get the hundred spirits and they sleep with someone else and they pass a hundred spirits evil spirits on to the next person and god and if you read your bible that's how god destroys lands don't let your daughter be a whore or the whole land will turn fall into whoredom and it'll be destroyed that what caused god to destroy sodom and gomorrah because of lust because of sexual perversion and these people who commit prostitution they sleep with both men and women so you sleeping with a prostitute or a whore even if you weren't like that the spirit that's in you now you're going to desire to sleep with both men and both women even if you didn't before even if you were a straight person and you slept with a bisexual person now those spirits are on you that is something you need to understand and know he wants you to know that some of you people weren't even homosexuals you just slept with people who had a homosexual spirit on them and you continue to do that some of you people were not prostitutes but then you slept with a prostitute and then when you got in a relationship with somebody you started using them for what they have sleeping with people for what they have using people and abusing people like the prostitute behavior do you understand what I'm saying? This is what God wants you to understand and know that you destroy yourself when you commit whoredoms and prostitution and you connect with a lot of spirits and create soul ties that make your heart turn evil and your heart turns away from him and you hate him. That's why he you you lose natural affection. It's not making love and belovedness anymore like what God created love making to be he call it he calls it belovedness you turned it into sex and it took away the affection and the love that comes with it so it's unnatural it's unnatural affections now that's why these prostitutes they do love magic and sex magic because they don't have any natural affection anymore because that thing of making love is supposed to be done with one person because you become one flesh that's why he says do not join your body to a whorelet you destroy yourself physically spiritually mentally emotionally psychologically and these prostitutes and whorelets they carry a lot of mental illnesses and depressions and a lot of things that are you just don't you can look it up and you're going to see that that's how you start carrying them too because soul ties you have exchanges when you're sleeping with someone that's why you're only supposed to be doing it with the person God gave you one flesh and do not join your body to a whorelet a prostitute and i hope that you repent and i hope that you stay away from such things because you're destroying your own heart you're destroying your own soul and God will put you in the lake of fire He says out oh, are the dogs the sorcerers the whoremongers the whorelets you people who engage in such things because it's not supposed to be sex it's supposed to be love making that you're supposed to have with one person to express your love and you're going to have natural affection when you're doing it with many people you don't have any natural affection it's just sex to you and that is not what god created it to be he created it to be a beautiful thing not something like that and um i hope this helps you people And I hope you stay away from fornication and prostitution and things of that nature because you're destroying your own soul. You're destroying yourself a lot. And God designed you to be better than that. Your body is not just for sex people. You are the temple of God. God created you to be so much more than just to have sex with somebody else. He made you powerful. He made you strong. He made you glorious, victorious. to be unstoppable, unshakable, unbreakable, invincible and walking in the power of God so he can use you. You need to find out what God created you to be and stop being led away by lust, 
lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and pride of life. That's why in his word, he shows you the things that carried away David, King David, and carried away King Solomon, which were women, which was fornication, which were things that hurt them. And that is not what God wants for you, beautiful people of God. He wants so much more for you. So I hope this video helps you. And I hope it gives you the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to please depart from prostitution and sleeping with prostitutes. And that Satan has made it so popular to he even legalize it in some countries for women to be able to sell their bodies only to destroy them, only to control them, only to destroy both men and women and to have God throw them in fire. And that is not... And for the whole land to fall into whoredom so God could destroy it. You have to know that Satan hates the woman more than he hates the man. And he uses women to destroy men because he doesn't want anybody to live forever because he's judged to the lake of fire. Women are used as tools to destroy men from salvation. That's why God said, do not lust after her beauty or her eyelids. Like these fake eyelashes. Satan knows every tool to draw a man to a woman to keep him from salvation. And you read in Proverbs, it tells you the eyes of a man are never satisfied. So he satisfies men with things that they like. Um, a big booty. Um, he has women dressed in really, you know, promiscuous so, and seductive. So they always have their eyes on them. So they're always lusting, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh. These are tactics and deceptions of satan to keep you in bondage in sexual bondage and lustful bondage to keep you going in the wrong direction in the broad way and you need to keep your eyes it says see god and keep your eyes fixed on him you know he'll open the eyes of your understanding and enlighten your eyes for you to understand these things so my brothers and sisters women do not be a trap for men to lust after and men do not Use your eyes to lust after women's beauty. Your woman is, you, you should be loving her heart, her soul, and wanting to protect that. And you're supposed to love your body. You need to, a lot of people need to practice and learn self love, body love. Loving your body is loving yourself. A lot of people do not even get annual checkups on their body. Loving your body is loving yourself. Protecting your body is protecting your health. You're supposed to love your health as well, people. Taking care of your body, taking care of your temple, even there's a time of separation. Please do not commit whoredoms and don't just be having casual sex. That's a lot of lots of diseases, spiritually transmitted diseases, a lot of soul ties, a lot of attachments and problems that you don't need. And people use... Some people use sex as a transfer to put their bad luck on you. So you got to be very careful with sexual encounters. That's why God said to get married and he'll give you a wife. And this is what he wanted me to talk to you about. Prostitution, poiletry, soul ties again. Because people do not take it as serious as they need to. And it's been destroying them. And it will bring, he says a whore will bring you to a piece of bread. It'll, they make you poor. Well, um, I hope this video helped you. Stay blessed. Stay grounded. Stay faithful. And love your body and love your privy parts. And love your soul and your spirit.